We just crashed. Oh my god! My name is Robert Scratch Mitchell and I'm the uh, former team lead of the Snowbirds and I must start by saying that uh, you know I'm not an investigator and I'm careful not to speculate on anything but there are some things that are, are worthy of mention. I can see right away that the the wind is calm as we see that the windsock that's in the foreground is limp. There's several thousand feet or so of, of cloud distance, so it's not that the clouds are presenting an issue. I can't put hand on heart and say that that is a bird, that speck, but it's one of the more risky areas of any aviation is just after takeoff. One of the risk factors is you're close to the ground and birds are a factor at, at airports. That's a, that's a reality of, of aviation. At this point in the video, this is the first indication that something is going wrong. It's very common to uh, trained to this where if you have any sort of engine issue you want to pull away from the the other airplane in a formation setting and uh, climb as high as you can. Altitude gives you options in time because you want to get up high away from the ground so you have time to process and see uh, what your options might be for a landing an alternate landing spot to glide to and also the higher you get the safer the margin of envelope is for the, the ejection seat. At this point, I see the airplane has been righted. You want the airplane as wings level as possible. You want your ejection vector to be up and not sideways. There would have been a tremendous sense of urgency and panic to get out of the airplane right now. The ejection sequence, when you pull the handles, the first thing to go is in fact the canopy. The canopy needs to clear away. The next step in the video that I'm seeing is the, the first plume of smoke. It's a big rocket charge that, that propels the seat out of the airplane and that, that would create this, this smoke. In this jet, each occupant must pull their own handles and eject themselves. I just couldn't speculate who exited the airplane first in this case. We call it the E word, the ejection word, and it's a word you don't take very lightly, and we don't casually say it in airplanes for the fear that someone you know, might respond to that. What I'm seeing at this point in the video is the second plume of smoke, and the, it is not long after the first one, and so to my mind, the command to eject occurred, and both handles were pulled in pretty rapid succession, and that's the way it's supposed to go. It's quite a violent. Uh, experience coming out of a jet with a rocket propelling you out in a matter of half a second. There's a lot that you sort of visually take in, some people black out. In this case, because the, the emergency occurred uh, very low to the ground, they didn't have the luxury of uh, time and altitude. So this is a, a perilous situation in any aircraft and, and when I watched it the first time my heart sank. 